right, all right, all right. It's Jared here from Crypto Plan. How is everyone going? And I hope you're doing well. I know that I am, although I am so bored of this correction. So if you're bored with me and you're sick of waiting for this sideways action in crypto, please like the video and stick around with me because I'm going to just deep dive into it. Uh, like when is Harmony One going to moon? When is it going to go to the moon? Uh, so hopefully we can find some answers today. But uh, if not, we can at least figure out what is going on. All right. We are on the Harmony One chart. We're on my kind of new chart setup. It's a weekly chart. It's a zoomed out view. It's just, this is our, this is our everything's okay chart. Um, we've got a 30 week moving average. We went well above that 30 week moving average and we're correcting at the moment with the rest of the altcoins above a 30 week moving average, above an inclining 30 week moving average. So we're all good. If anything, from a long perspective, this is a, an accumulation zone. This is a perfect time to be topping up your bags if you're in to that. But if not, you just got to hold on and wait, right? Now, we are still above, you know, we're still performing better than the S&P 500 at the moment. So that's a good thing as well. And from a relative strength index, RSI, we're about, we're in the middle, you know, we are, we're not, we're not falling off a cliff yet. So there's, there's nothing that's telling me that anything bad is going to happen in One Harmony, but like, when is it going to moon? And unfortunately, I just can't see it happening. I can't see it happening soon. And because of this one indicator, volume, look at volume. It's like there's no buyers or sellers. You know, three days to go in the week and we're not even a third of the volume of last week, which was, you know, a fraction less than the last week, which was half less than the week before, which was half less than the week before, which was a big selling week and buying week. So I just think that the, the market is exhausted. But I also have another kind of answer for you. And the other answer, uh, and we're going to have to go back to Bitcoin. We're going to have to go back to Bitcoin to find the answer because we need to understand and be a little bit smarter, you know, and I'm learning this as I go, is that no matter how good the technicals of any particular chart are, if the, if the asset class is not performing well, it will not do well. So, you know, and, and like it or not, Bitcoin is the asset class. Bitcoin is the, the leading indicator for the asset class. So until Bitcoin breaks that 30-week moving average, gets above 42K and starts printing some, you know, green candles onwards and upwards towards 50, 55, 56K, the whole market is going to suffer that, you know, and all, you know, all we need to do is look around and please, I'm going to click through a whole bunch of charts and, and some of them are crypto and some of them are crypto miners and just look at the lack of volume, you know, like Bitcoin has decent volume, but it's below its moving average, right? We've got Dogecoin, zero volume, Marathon Payton Group, mm, okay volume, you know, not too bad, right? Blockchain, less volume, but still a bit of buying coming in there, a bit of an uptrend. Argo Blockchain, no volume. Binance coin, just volume is falling off a cliff. No one is buying, no one's selling. It's like a stalemate. Ethereum, look look at that volume there compared to what it was a couple of weeks ago. Cardano, volume falling off a cliff. XRP, volume falling off a cliff. Dash, volume's down. Stellar, volume's down. One Harmony, we've had a look at it. Volume's right down. Game credits, volume's falling off a cliff. Peer coin, volumes down, you know, like there is just no participants. There's no activity. Like everybody's sitting in cash or everyone's waiting or everyone's just holding and everyone's waiting for everyone else to buy. Like I think we need new people to enter the market. And I think the best way to excite people into the market is when Bitcoin attempts to go on a new time high again, you know, new all time high. When Bitcoin you know, proves that there, that it is going to 100k because at the moment it's all speculation, right? And you know, I've got I've got a series of targets here, and I've got you know anywhere up to 98,000, 100,000, and then I've got my 200,000 target, and then you know, there's clearly 
you know, a stink bid target there of 500k, which is probably not going to be in, in this cycle. But, you know, from a stage analysis, that's where where it's heading to. And everyone knows that and everyone believes that, but the price needs to do that. And I think the price action activates market participants, you know, like people unfortunately don't enter the market here because it's fearful. They enter the market here because they're greedy. They're like, oh, it's moving. It's moved so far. I want to get in there, you know, and they, they miss out on that profit. But you know what? The, from a risk perspective, what I'm learning is they're, they're, these trades are less risky. You know, if you, to catch it at 59,000 to 100,000 is less risky than kind of sitting down here for ages and having that opportunity cost of your money you know, time chewing away. Yes, the percentage gain is bigger, but, you know, I think from a trading perspective, from the algorithms, from all those sort of things that are trying to snipe and just pull little bits of money out of the market, they, they want to see the technicals a little bit better in Bitcoin. And unfortunately, because the technicals were so stretched to the upside, they stretched to the downside. And now we're in a bit of a, we're in a bit of a pickle and we just don't know how long this is going to take. So back to the One Harmony chart, like all I can give you is that one Bitcoin needs to Bitcoin needs to do some things. Uh, and number two, we need to realize that, you know, going, you know, looking at a reality of things, if, you know, if this is the bottom and we're going to reverse, then we have to be prepared for some kind of, you know, realistic expectation. Like I've said before, August, September, you know, late June, mid July for this thing to come on out of there. Now, you know, that that's that's me kind of saying worst case scenario, I believe and I want One Harmony to break out earlier and, and kind of go. And I think it will be one of the leaders when it does. But at the moment, I can't give you anything else. Like the market is just seesawing whip soaring up one day down the next because there is no market participants you know everyone's kind of in out in out waiting you know kind of just not much going on there is not much going on and I, there is nothing to report and hence why i've been doing a lot of these uh mining stock videos which get no likes and no views but hey one day they'll get views because the, the market will be switching looking that direction very soon but, you know, that's why I'm doing them because there's action over there. You know, there's action in other charts. There's action in biotech. Right now, there is no action in crypto. It doesn't make for very good YouTube content. Um, that's why, you know, I look around at the things I'm subscribed to and it's just the same old, same old, boring old, same old. This is going to that. That's going to that. Same product price predictions, you know. So we're still in play. One Harmony is going to go to a dollar. We know that. We're happy with that. That's, you know, that's... That's our safe bet, you know, 80 cents to a dollar. I want to see it go to a dollar 80 and any further than that is going to be a super duper, super duper happy moment for, for any of you large hodlers out there. But what can I say? We need volume. The market needs volume. The market needs participants. And um, do you know what? Like if, if I can give you anything, the only thing I have seen, which is a little bit crazy, is this Frontier or what is it? Front, front USD coin. A uh, bit of a di D D DeFi coin. Um, if we go to the daily, you know, it's got good volume for the week, but was that just a bit of a pump and dump on that day? I don't know. Was it a bit of a buy? You know, I, I can't tell. Can't tell. There's not, you know, there's not enough evidence. that To me, that's just kind of big whales kind of playing, splashing around. Um, other than that, I can't find anything in this market that tells me there's no leaders. There's no leaders in the market. There's nothing going on, unfortunately. But um, we're getting there. We're getting there. You know, we're, we're further into the correction than we're, you know, than the start, <laughs> if, if that's any help. So anyway, I've been Jared. This has been Crypto Plan. I'm sorry I can't give you any major updates of when moon. Um, but yeah, please like this video because we, we will, I will give you the hot news when I see that volume churning up and when i see the indicators kind of tipping positive so yeah like and subscribe and all that stuff and i'll catch you on the next one bye now